Hi guys, welcome back. We are here with uh, the next week of NXT episode 4. You got your boy Nick Miller. Whatever you do, don't end up looking weak out there. You want the people behind you going into a pay-per-view. Okay, my man, my man, man. You got your boy Johnny Gargano. Oh god, you are huge as heck, my, my, my man. So if I win, go home and dish of NXT. Johnny, I swear if you want to pump with me. Your moves in the ring are looking slick. We can help the drinks again sometime. I pump, you pump, we all pump. Wow, Johnny, that's words of wisdom right there. I think he, uh, Caesar might be getting a haircut pretty soon, you know? Because... Maybe, a, maybe he's gonna get some hair tape on his head, I don't really know. I don't, I don't know these tactics people use these days. Um, is there anyone in the locker room? Oh yeah, there is. Uh, who are you? Uh, woof, hey, hey. Woof. I don't know. Life as a superstar is not always dazzling. What makes life better here is the WWE universe and the friends we create. So why don't you go? Why don't we go grab a beer sometimes? Perfect. I knew you'd be in. Yeah, sure, man. I'm fine with that. Uh -huh. Hey, what was that? I don't know. I saw something there, though. Am I in the match card, or do I have to talk to him? It looks like he's facing so hard. Alright, man. Pack match card. Crazy week last week, huh? Up to you how you want to respond to what's going on. Check out the match card. Let me know what you're thinking. I think I'm gonna do a self-promotion. Caesar is a trash talker. He's a trash talking Skywalker. And this is the go home edition. He's trying to get the fans behind him. He's trying to get the fans riled up for what's about to happen here tonight uh, at the NXT takeover. Him versus Bob. Oh gosh, I just broke my can. I don't know. Him versus Bobby Roode for the WWE NXT Champion. <laughs> I wonder what brand Caesar will go to. That is, if he ever makes it to a brand. His father went straight to the main roster and team with Lance Alexander. No one knows where Lance Alexander is these days. He is somewhere hidden. I'm sure we'll eventually see him. Do you imagine if uh, he teamed with uh, Lance Alexander? Dude, that'd be so. That'd be so old. <laughs> I had a kid since then and was a phrase to be like 20. God, I mean, Zionist was wrestling like longer than The Undertaker. Jesus. Uh, not longer than The Undertaker, but I was exaggerating. You should have saw my point. He's a man, he's ready. He's a trash talking man. The tell match at TakeOver is coming, and Bobby Roode is in my damn way. He stands there so smug, thinking he can squat there forever. He's so self satisfied, it's pathetic. Now, like how he's stealing the spotlight from me. I'm the newcomer, and I am the one with momentum. Oh no, Bobby Roode. What can Bobby Roode be coming out to say here right now? What's this all about? Well, things are about to get interesting. I'm sure the WWE Universe is dying to know what's going on. 
I am the champion. I'm going to stay the champion. Period. Walk on out here. Even if you tried, you fail every time. We are on the same level. Frankly, I'm insulted. You seem to think we are. We're incomparable. So, Savage, what you pro what pride you actually have? Turn yourself around and step away out of my ring. Dude, okay. get the hell out of my way. I'm coming for you, and there's no room for the both of us. And who would want to share a spotlight with anyone, let alone you? I'm so tired of you prancing around like you own this place. This is the most polite I'm ever going to get about this. You need to move. Now. You're an upstart and you need to start knowing your place. That ain't here. It's definitely not in a ring with me. You aren't worthy of a second under my spotlight. How did they ever let you get this far? Fine, you can be here, but you gotta be a janitor or something. That's your best suit of all. The pass was yours. I'll give you that one. Good job, man. You did it. Wow. So incredible. Proud of you, sport. Now listen. Your victories belong to you, so does that temporary being the NXT champion. But that's it. All I can say, thanks for keeping the spot warm for me. I appreciate it. The audience and my fans are one and the same. There's no one out there pulling for you. Got it? To them, you're no name for... I can't remember your name. But everyone, no matter where I go, remembers mine immediately. Know why? Because I ain't a daddy's boy. And I done my due diligence. Every step of victory on my road to success, I won't accept anyone else, anything else. Bobby, the next step is to you, and you have to accept that. You don't have to like it, but by damn, you need to accept it. Now, I will try to make it as easy for you as possible to slip away with some grace, but I can't promise it. You'll be stuck here forever, although more likely you'll be kicked out. I haven't seen anything impressive from you. I doubt that's going to change. You see, there's a certain degree of aptitude necessary to prove your right to stay. Normally, if someone gets here, they already have it. You don't. Know what? This isn't only about you being a champion anymore. I was just going to leave it at that. But you've won it, quit, and now I have to teach you a place. So this is why I plan. I'm not just going to break you. I'm going to dash your entire legacy to pieces. All of your victories will mean nothing. There won't be anything left except forgotten dust by the time I'm finished with you. Have you heard how history is written by the Richters? Well, that's about to crush you. The heel of history. Bobby who? The last? That sounds like a name of a loser. It's the most I'll ever think of you. Well, now we all know what lies in store for us. Oh, Operation crap. Caesar just destroyed Bobby Roode. He just We're destroyed Bobby Roode. Oh god, my score is 268! Oh my god! Caesar though. I th I say Caesar's great at promos, dude. Something Roman Reigns isn't. Holy crap, dude. Say that was a really good freaking promo. I could just end an episode off there. I bet y'all won't be mad. This is episode six. And we are fighting the champion now. Once I get attacked backstage or something. But don't think so. Since I never had that happen. And I already basically completed my career. Dude, if I saw that promo in real life, dude, I'd be watching NXT every day. Cause, dude, I I want to see who would win that match. Oh, we know who it's gonna be. N not not bad. You know, that was great. 
thinking that WWE Universe is looking forward to what you are bringing. At your NXT title match at TakeOver and also the spirit you have about you, I think they get it. Honestly, it's dumping Bet Bobby that matters to me now. He thinks he's amazing, and I want to show him he isn't. It's kind of crazy. Didn't make NXT champion, D didn't he? Can't really knock that. There's something about him that inspires the lust for stomping. I do that in the parking lot, but it's great we ha we'll have a match instead. Have fun, I guess. Whatever your reason, make it a good match. That is what I value as important. Boy, boy. Every match I do is a quote unquote good. Well, I do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure to slam that like button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.